Okay, thanks, Jim. We'll keep an eye on that. And with severe weather season upon us, it's important for us to figure out how to protect ourselves from storms while also avoiding exposure to COVID-19. News 3 meteorologist John Ross takes us inside one local community that is prepared to do both. You know, it's, it adds just a little bit to the to the pre planning aspect. Heron Fire Chief Sean Pretty says being proactive is crucial to severe weather preparedness. That's especially the case during the COVID-19 pandemic. Village of Cambria Mayor Steve Gottschalk says he knew he needed to take action for his village after seeing an advisory on TV. They briefed in a storm shelter environment that a mask and gloves would be essential uh, for close quarters like that. Being proactive, the mayor supplied his community center that operates as a shelter with PPE to be used by his citizens. We bring them in, we issue a face mask to them, require them to put it on while they're in the shelter, and then we have them chairs and we take them down to, the, uh, to a chair and they can sit, but the chairs are six feet apart. Pretty says it's important for individuals to plan ahead for themselves. Hopefully if somebody already has a plan and they know the places that they're going to go, uh, whether it's in their own house, the basement, a friend's house, relative's house or whatever, uh, you know, they already know that they do that. They know the layout. They know what they're used to. So maybe they just have to tweak that plan just a little bit, uh, you know, to try to still follow the social distancing guidelines. You need to uh, have the foresight to get everything together before the uh, tornado or, or rough weather happens uh, and then run through and do a, do a practice with it. Reporting in Williamson County, John Ross, News 3. To stay up to date on impending weather, you can catch us on the air and on your phone with the StormTrack 3 weather app. 